also in Washington, CBS News political analyst John Dickerson. John, good morning. Good morning, Harry. What can you tell us then about this deal? And some of it is sort of backroom stuff around the, is, is, is doing an end round, uh, end run around congressional Democrats between the president and the leadership of the Republicans to say, here's our quid pro quo. We will extend these tax. We'll go along with the, extending the tax cuts if you extend unemployment insurance. There's a lot of backroom dealing going on, and that's the shape of it, that the de Republicans will get what they want, an extension for all rates, including those for what the Democrats say, the wealthy, those over 250000 and in return, the White House will get an extension of unemployment benefits and also a host of other tax cuts. The White House likes to call them the Obama tax cuts for lower income and middle income families that will extend for a year to help them through yeah. this difficult economic time. Educational tax credits in there too as well. The Democrats are, are they, their noses are out of joint about this. Very much so, because they want the president to stand up and fight. There are ads that are going to be running this weekend saying, don't cave, Mr. President. They want... Barack Obama to make a stand and say Republicans want tax cuts for the wealthy, those over, who make over 250000 and Democrats want tax cuts for the middle class. That's what was behind that symbolic House vote. But the president is making a deal, and it doesn't look like it's going the way the liberals want, and they're very angry. This is very interesting, because if, in fact, this does go through, people get a little of what, the, what they want. This may be sort of a, a vision of the future. It is a vision of the future, although the future is so bleak because, of course, if this goes through, it has big deficit implications. Mm -hmm. We're about to have, and we're in the middle of, this big question about how much to cut, how much taxes might increase. And so what liberals are very worried about is they see the president buckling, in their view, mm -hmm. and they think this is just the beginning of a long string of buckles. And here's the deficit commission that has been meeting um, for hours and days and weeks and months. And they will not get a consensus, it looks like, so there will not be anything forwarded to Congress. And all of this work for, it almost seems like, for naught. Well, it does, because they weren't able to get the votes. The question will be, what will the president do with this? He set up this commission. He says he's committed to deficit reduction. And there are lots and lots of plans out here in Washington. It seems everybody's got one. And so the president will have to say, I'm going to use this, or we expect him to say, I'm going to use this as a starting point for next year's conversations. But the reason this didn't pass is that all of these choices are hard, tough, and ugly. Yeah. And nobody wants to uh, get behind them, although some members of the committee are, in fact, going to vote for it. Because it's really about Hunting entitlements and or raising taxes, and it's hard to get people to agree on any of that stuff. John Dickerson, thank you very much to appreciate it. Thanks, Harry.